This is the car freeze effect, and I'm going to show you how to easily do it with your phone or any type of camera. First thing you'll need to do is set up your phone, DSLR, or mirrorless camera on a tripod. So we need to keep this running the whole time without touching the camera or moving the tripod. Just have it recording throughout the whole process. So first you need to get a shot of you or your subject crossing the street. So make sure when you're doing this part that there are no cars passing by. Just try to stay safe out there. So what you're going to do is pretend that there is one driving by, stick your hand out, and then continue walking. And then for shot number two, what you're going to do is wait for a car to actually pass by in the shot. Now that you have the two shots that you need, we're going to jump on to Final Cut Pro 10, which is the editing platform of my choice. And I'm going to show you how to put it together. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is throw the walking clip onto the project timeline. Next, place the clip with the car passing by on top of the first clip. I'd cut that clip off right at the spot where you want the car to stop in the scene. Then you're going to place the skimming bar right at that spot, probably a frame before the clip ends. Then head into the retiming options tab and select hold. This will freeze the car right at the point where you want it to stop. Now we're going to stretch out that clip to be the same length as the bottom clip. Next, we're going to look for the draw mask tool in the effects tab and we're going to place it on the top clip. We're going to mask out the environment around the car so that we can show the clip below it. So we're going to start placing the key points right when the car freezes. Yeah. After that, we're going to add some feathering to it to blend it in more with the clip below. Now you just got to move the clip around until it matches with the scene below. So I will try to have the car freeze right around the spot where I put my hand up. I'm also going to add a short cross dissolve transition at the beginning here to smooth out and blend the top clip better when it comes into the shot. So this is just an optional step. Just do this if you feel like you need to do it to blend in the things better. Another optional step here is to speed up how fast the car is going by by changing the speed of that clip. Now you just gotta add some sound design and sound effects and you should be ready to go. If you enjoyed this video here, make sure to subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this car effect, make sure to watch this one here as I show you another fun one to try out.